Hey guys, I'm back with my very first mixed media layout. I was so excited. I got these like 20 minutes beforehand and I got home and immediately started playing around. And this is my very first mixed media layout I've literally ever done. Um, I'm using the packaging technique. So I'm taking a little bit of the watercolor and putting it on the packaging and then just sticking it on the paper. You know, you really can't get much easier than that. And I will say, I really, really, really like these watercolors. They came up very pigmented. Even when drying, they pretty much were true to color, which is pretty exciting, I think. Of course, you can make it lighter. I'll have to figure out how to do that, I guess, besides mixing in white, which I ended up doing with the pink. But I was looking to do orange, pink, and yellow but the yellow actually ended up being way too bright so I ended up going over with it with that like brown color you see in the watercolors um but in any case I really like the watercolors but the water brush that I bought was a recollections brand and man it already started like fraying the brush is not an easy if you want to do like scripting letters or anything with it I'm not sure you'd be able to anymore and I literally just bought it so if anyone has a recommendation on a water brush that is actually good and stays intact, the actual bristles, um, let me know because I think it might be worth it to actually spend a little bit more money on quality. Um, and the last thing I just did was spray, like splatter some black paint down on over the page. So then I am taking all of my... Um, papers from the Studio Calico kit that I just got this month and the photos that I'm using are from Venice Beach when I used to live there in 2013 when I actually lived in um, LA. My family came to visit me and we did you know some touristy stuff. We went to Venice Beach and then walked to the Venice Canal which is so pretty. If I could have a house on the Venice Canal, that would literally be goals. Um, but in any case, I am going to cut almost every single paper that came in the kit. And this was quite hard for me because I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm cutting all of this paper. None of these are going to be 12 by 12 anymore. But you know what? You just got to do what you got to do. I wanted to make a almost like stacked ribbon-esque feel on the page. So I needed to use a lot of different papers. And of course, all of these papers went together really well. So I almost wanted to use a little snippet of every single paper. So here I am cutting them all. I won't make you watch me cut every single one. So maybe I'll stop here. <laughs> Okay, so now I have cut all of my scraps that I want to use, which is right here. Um, a nice collection of orange, pink, and yellow. So now I'm just going to try and arrange them in the stack that I think that they will look best in. I'm going to cut them down a little bit and also make the edges look like, you know, that ribbon little triangle cut out the end of them, but I wanted to just take a look, stack them, make sure that, you know, the thicker pieces aren't by the thinner pieces just so I can, you know, mix it up a little bit. And none of the patterns, I didn't want any of them to be too similar next to each other so really just trying to figure that out and then on top of that cutting them so they look kind of like a ribbon so once I kind of figured out the way I wanted to stack them and place them I wanted to put the photo on top to make sure that it didn't get like lost in the pages and I think it actually did end up getting a little bit lost and it was between me either putting it on a pink piece of paper or a white piece of paper but I ended up using one of the card stocks that came with the kit since they match perfectly um, which is nice about using a kit these were the only tools or I guess paper and you know embellishments that I use in this layout so it's nice not to have like your whole entire desk covered with your whole collection you know you just choose the things that you have which I think is very useful when you just want to get things done I mean this is from 2013 I'm still in 2011 to be honest I just thought these photos really matched um 
the papers that I had. So I think at some point you just have to take something and commit to it. And this was me committing. Um, but it did take me a while to find like the photos I exactly wanted to use with the papers, just because I feel like with the kits, they're so precious to me. I'm like, I want the best photos being used with the kit, um, which isn't necessarily the smartest idea because then now I'm skipping around. But you know what? Craft how you want to craft. And this is how I want to craft. And it is what it is. So this is how I decided I wanted to place the photos. And like I was saying before, I did think that they got a little bit lost. So I knew I wanted to kind of mat them. So what I'll end up doing is matting these, taking ink and going against all of the edges of that to make it kind of stand out because it's black. I added the Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful sticker and then I am stamping with some of the stamps that came in the kit. And unfortunately, um, a lot of my embellishing, for whatever reason, got cut off. I have no idea why. Um, but if you're wondering what I'm watching, I'm watching Adele's scrap stream as I scrap myself. It was like one of the best setups ever. Um... So yeah, this is pretty much what it ends up looking like. I use everything from the Studio Calico kit from April, I think. Yeah, we're in April, right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoyed using the kit like I was speaking about before. And I was adding some of the really cute like springy stamps as well. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me. And I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thanks. Have a great day.